good evening welcome to raw online today we'll see one more uh, congenital cyanotic heart disease so pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum so the difference between the pulmonary atresia with the vsd and the pulmonary atresia with the intact ventricular septum we have already seen top physiologies in which a pulmonary atresia with the vsd is included so pulmonary atresia with the ventricular septal defect act like a top so present like a top uh, physiology while with intact ventricular septum will come under group of conditions called pda dependent circulation here the pulmonary blood flow is dependent on the pda so we'll see in detail so here this is a pictorial representation of pulmonary atresia so this pulmonary valve is either atretic in the form of a membrane or it is muscular atresia so in either cases the pulmonary valve is impervious or imperforate so there is no flow from rv into pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve and uh, this uh, this is the core of the problem pulmonary atresia but uh, you can see the trunk of the pulmonary artery that is the pulmonary artery main pulmonary artery and the branches are very well developed so it means that during the embryology development of heart there was forward flow from rv to uh, pulmonary trunk but it was later impeded because of the imperforate pulmonary valve so and the pda is supplying the pulmonary artery so instead of the forward flow from rv to pulmonary artery iota supplies the pulmonary artery through the pda so we'll see each component of it in detail so the major classification is based on either membranous or muscular pulmonary atresia and also the size of the rv so a well developed rv so at two a different ends of the spectrum of pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum there is a tripartite rv where the in inlet or the inflow in fundibulum that is the outlet and the trabecular portion of all the uh, three portions of rv are very well developed it is a tripartite rv versus a monopartite rv where there is no outlet or in fundibular portion no apical or trabecular portion only a, a very diminutive inlet portion because of tv hypoplasia also so the at two ends of the extreme of paves pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum that is a tripartite well developed rv morphology versus a monopartite rv morphology and also a normal tricuspid valve which is hypoplastic in uh, in relation to the hypoplastic rv or a epstein like anomaly of a tricuspid valve with severe regurgitation so that is even more dangerous first of all there is no forward outlet from rv then the outlet from rv is impeded by the backward flow through the tricuspid valve into the ra so it becomes a functional component of a pulmonary atresia even if pulmonary valve is open it still remains back flowing into the ra so this epstein's component of the um, pulmonary atresia with intact ventricular septum which is a dangerous form with in significantly increased mortality is also one of the morphological forms of paves and this rv rv in some extreme cases can be wall to wall that is there is no rv component at all this uh, uh, muscular trabecular portion is hypertrophied so compressing the rv cavity greater the hypertrophy greater the compression of the cavity uh more probability that the baby will go to a single ventricle repair rather than dual bi bi ventricular functional repair 